Have you ever tried to negotiate with NPCs in Fallout 76? To make peace. <laughs> Smart people say that if you want to make peace, you need to kill their leader. And that's what I gonna do. Ciao. I keep throwing grenades, but it is just to celebrate a new level of our relationship between me and Anglias. You see? Now we are friends. Hey, what are you doing? Come on. Well, the negotiation got the very wrong way. <laughs> but I have a nice tool to terminate any negotiation as fast as possible. And for you as well. Ciao, ciao. Another way to make peace requires some heavy drinking of your favorite beverage. But it is another story. So, here you have it. Juggernaut's fast fire rate with weight reduction auto grenade launcher. Z Peacemaker. It is already modded, the best possible way to use it, and the worst possible way to scrape it, because it is a piece of trash. Anyways, let's check the mods and see what do we have. Standard sight, where is no standard sight. Default appearance, ok, standard grip, where is no standard grip, and heavy barrel can be a long barrel or standard barrel. But heavy barrel is the best choice. My weightless TS guy is less accurate and fire rate is not buffed, but damage is better because two shot explosives are matter. Let's change the paint. I wish we could have a watermelon paint for this guy, cause watermelons are true peacemakers. And that is why I will be right back. Ok, I'm back. So here's my perk loadout. Heavy gunner perks don't work here, but some other perks do work here like Demolition Expert and uh, Grenadier and others, I hope. You never know what Bethesda did and we don't even ask why they did it, we really did not. But Grenadier works, I just tested this perk, uh, but anyways let me show you. You see, no damage, now I will equip it back, where you kiss, uh, here it is, and boom, I'm damaged. No. Now I want to get power armored and by the way, here are my legendary perks. Take one for the team is must have, though no one will join my team today. Ech. Lock and load is must have as well, since you don't use heavy gunner pair cards. Look how long it takes to reload this weapon and if I equip it, where you... Ah, here it is. Okay. Kaboom. And now much faster. Speaking of disease, I have what? I have uh, needle spine, eh, doesn't matter. Oh, moonshine jamboree, let's do this event, because why not? I will play as intended with full health, as well I will compare this piece of crap with two shot baby and then you will see what I gonna do, cause I'm still not sure what I gonna do. I said I have no caps for you, take this and let me talk to the barkeeper. Hey, can I buy A? How am I supposed to make peace if they are attacking me the whole time and not letting me to drink some moonshine uh, to make peace? Well, what can I say? Juggernaut's faster fire rate auto grenade launcher actually is not that bad. I could solo the whole event, dropping grenades here and there. Golpers made the ground pretty much wet with acid. I'm not sure how exactly they lost this exact liquid, but if someone starts to drop bombs on my head, I will make the floor pretty much wet as well. But the reason why the peacemaker is not that bad is because it's a F-word auto grenade launcher, <laughs> the most OP weapon of the game. If you got rank 85 on the current scoreboard, you probably tried out the mighty nuke launcher, right? So the mighty nuke launcher is way better than what I'm about to use right now. Therefore, why in the world you would possibly not script the peacemaker is a good question. Yeah. Of course we will have new players and Bethesda probably not make nuke launcher available for just everybody, right? It is another story, but at the moment the peacemaker should be flushed down the toilet. Accuracy? Um, we don't need accuracy when we shoot two grenades simultaneously. Explosive webs can be not accurate, but they must be dangerous.
By the way, in the next update you will need any auto grenade launcher to deal with reflective skin mutation. It is a must have, I would say. Roll a nuclear launcher or maybe just in case have this guy. So, I got the peacemaker from the mutated moonshine jamboree, where mobs were reflective. Oh damn, uh, I think this is the most stupid thing Bethesda ever done with this game. And explosive webs are the solution. Keep it in mind. So, ladies and gents, uh, the moonshine jamboree has been completed. I think we can try something else, just to compare two weapons, uh, the peacemaker and to shot out the grenade launcher. Let's go to Vestek. Hello minis, how are you doing today? I'm back as you see. Let me try uh, one, two, oh damn, three shots to kill a guy. Uh, and here, boom, two shots to kill a doggy, really? Okay, here everything's fine. Oh, a new guy. One, two, three shots. Really? <clears throat> okay, let's try to shot and the... Uh, kaboom! Yeah, as I thought. Grab your mafia guys, I'm here to make peace. Uh, where's your bathroom? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, oi, 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 we have here two puppy crabs. That's a serious problem, I would say. Come on, please, die already. Damn, this weapon sucks big time. Yeah. I killed mummy crab as well, but I don't know if you need to see this BS. I spent 20 or 30 grenades, more or less. It was brutal. Scorched bitches are not that hard to kill overall, but anyways, you're gonna spend some expensive ammo, which is better to spend with a nuka launcher. Okay, so, so now I will show you the stupid fact about Juggernaut's legendary mod. This BS should be reward, but some of you may not be agree with me. It's your problem. Anyways, uh, watch it. I have full health, 292 damage. Okay, I don't have full health, still 292. Now a little bit less. Okay, and now a little bit more than 292, right? Okay, let's try again. And here 296. Okay, one more. And 303. Okay. And uh, 313, so it's better, right? Uh, 311, wait, now 320, you see? Okay, 317, one more, 326, that's great. And now 334. So, you see the point, right? <laughs> Better to use it with low health. 341. Okay, now I'm officially bloodied. 340. And now... 383. <laughs> you see? Can I make it even better? Let's try. 383 and now 378 okay i think 380 it is like the limit well to be exact 383 if you don't know what's going on here's your answer adrenal reaction mutation and actually nerd rage as well it gives you some damage boost that's all for today don't forget to like this video if you liked this video but youtube still doesn't know it okay Make it so. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye bye.